I have seen detectives coming in and out of that deli behind me. Now, going back to that fatal victim of another shooting, he's been identified as Frankelis Tavares. His mom telling us that the worst feeling is knowing that her son is not going to walk through the door of their home ever again. Nancy Tavares is not celebrating Easter this Sunday. Instead, she's trying to wake up from what she calls a nightmare. It was around midnight when her world turned upside down. She never heard back from her son, who stepped out of the house on Saturday evening and was supposed to come right back because he was scheduled to work the following morning. Police arrived at her home in the Bronx to let her know that 25-year-old Frankelis Tavares had been killed. <laughs> Although she speaks no English, the pain of this mother is palpable. Authorities say Tavares was shot in the chest around 8.50 last night on East 187th in Tibor Avenue. And a 23-year-old man received a gunshot wound to the stomach and buttocks. He's in stable condition. Frankelis's brother is inconsolable telling us he wishes he would have played video games with him when he asked him last week. The wild, wild west. The shooting happened steps away from the Bronx Baptist Church and just four blocks from where a two-year-old boy was hit in the hip by a stray bullet while walking with his mother near East Fordham Road and Grand Conkers. All these shooting up all the kids that hang out in the corner over there. It's crazy. This morning at around 440, an argument turned violent at this deli on East Tremont Avenue. According to the NYPD, a 30-year-old man was taken to St. Barnabas Hospital after getting shot in the upper right thigh. He's in critical but stable condition. This is just getting more crazy out here. No arrests have been made for these crimes, including Frank Kelly's murder. Another death due to gun violence, <laughs> leaving a mother not only with her heart ripped apart, but also wondering why and who killed her son. And the NYPD confirming to us that multiple men fled the scene after shooting Tavares.